How's it going? Today we're going to make a light toggle. This is a simple object where when you interact with it, it turns the light on, and when you hit it again, it turns it off. Real easy to make and not a whole lot of code. So let's get to it. First, open up Unity. And once you're in, go to the top left of the hierarchy, select Light, Point Light. Then go to the inspector for the point light and switch it from real-time mode to mixed. And let's move this light to where we want it in the scene. I'll put it on top of the table. Next, let's make a switch for this light. Unity has its own 3D modeler. I prefer Pro Builder. It's just a little bit easier for me to get. Select New Shape, Cube, and Build. Select the cube and let's scale it down to 0.1 by 0.1 and 0.1. And let's get that close to us. So now that we have the cube and our light, let's put some logic onto the cube so it can control the light. Let's remove mesh collider, add a box collider, and select is trigger. Then we're going to add a udon behavior. So select add component, udon behavior. Now it's asking for a program source. So let's go ahead and start organizing that. Go to assets, right click, create folder. Let's name that folder udon scripts. Open it up, right click, create VR chat. Udon, Udon Graph Program Asset. Let's name this Light Switch Logic. Then open Udon Graph. Now that we're in Udon Graph, let's get started on the logic. First things first, let's make a game object variable. Search up game object and Let's rename this variable to light because that is the game object we're going to be putting in this variable. Set that to public, hit compile so we can access this variable later on in the inspector. Drop it off on the graph, hit spacebar for quick search, search up event, event interact. Hit spacebar again and look up game object. We're gonna get two from this one. It's active in hierarchy and set active. Let's attach these. Light will go into the instance of the set active node and also into the instance for the get active in hierarchy Lastly, let's get a bool. So look up bool and grab unary negation. And connect that to the value for the set active node. And zoom out a bit. Hit compile one more time. And let's go to our scene hit cube, and grab the udon graph script that you just made and drag it into the program source. And now we have a nice little place for our point light right here. Let's grab that and drag it in. And let's see if it works. Hit play. And it works. Awesome. So now that we finished our light switch and we know that it works, let's take a look at the script. So I'm going to put this light here inside the light variable area to make a visual representation of what's going on with the script. So we have our cube, aka our light switch, and we have our event interact node attached to it. So when you interact with it, it'll turn the light off or turn it on. But the way it does that is when you interact with the 
cube, it runs to a game object set active node. Now, the game object set active node is basically a switch that determines if the game object is off or on. Now, first things first, you have to assign a game object to it called the instance, which is in this instance, it's our light. Then it's going to determine a value that's based on the bool. Now, of course, this bool's value is determined by these two nodes right here, the get active and hierarchy node, and then the unary negation node. The get active and hierarchy node basically checks to see if the game object that we are trying to control is on or off in the hierarchy. Now, because we can see the light, uh, it is on in this instance. So when it runs this way to the unary negation node, the unary negation node is by all means as literal as it says, it negates things. So when it comes in as a positive value for the presence of the light in the hierarchy, it's going to negate it. So let's run the code and it turned it off because it negated the fact that the light was active in the hierarchy and set its value to zero for the set active node. So if we were to run it again, based on the fact that the light is already off, it's going to turn it back on because the unary negation node negated the fact that it was off and then assigned the value to the game object set active node. Okay. Whoa. A little grind there. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, see ya. <laughs>